All right guys, I'm in my kitchen, just had some tacos, my dinner, and basically what I wanna go over in this video, in this clip, is tracking when it's not like one single thing. Like usually if someone has, you know, some almonds, or like a bag of chips, or something that's easy, on my fitness pal, it's super easy to scan, right? Um, but I wanna kinda go over a lot of the times I hear, Matt, like, it's hard to track because there's so many ingredients, right? If you're cooking a stew, or if you're cooking like a jambalaya, or if you're cooking tacos, when there's multiple ingredients, it is a little hard to track, and I wanna show you guys how I do that, just so it's a little easier, all right? A little easier on you. Um, basically, what you wanna do, because we're tracking calories and macros, is first track the foods that have the macros, which, again, a macro is a uh, carb, protein, or fat. So, tortillas, obviously, so I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna screen record this on my phone so you're gonna see this. But uh, I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna click my food. Hopefully it's cleared up. I'm gonna click my food. This is gonna be meal three because this is my third meal of the day. And I'm literally just gonna scan. All right, I'm gonna scan, it's gonna pull up a picture. Scans, boom, has it right there. So, I had two tortillas. I'm literally just gonna put quantity two. Yeah, I'm recording this on here. Go to the second ingredient with the most, probably the ground beef. All right, this was 80-20, 80% 20, 80 lean, 20% fat ground beef. So I'm gonna look up on my fitness pal, ground beef, 80-20, I already have it saved. And I had about two servings, so serving's what, four, four to six ounces. So let's just go medium, 10 ounces, uh, 725, probably a little less than that, but hey, round up. Um, second thing is probably the sour cream. So sour cream, we're gonna go ahead and scan. So we got those two items. Here's the third. That quick. If you don't got that that much time, you got that much time. Boom. Now we're gonna go to the guac. It's actually just avocados and a little onion, so it's not. It's pretty much just the avocado. And I had about two tacos worth, so maybe a quarter of an avocado. So I'm just gonna look up avocado. This is how you guys gotta do it, man. Sometimes you gotta think outside the box, do what you can. You know, if it's, it says one medium. So I don't even know what one medium is, but I know it was probably about, you know, if I go half of one, it's probably a little less than that. 0.25, it's probably around 60 calories. It sounds about right, two scoops. And then the other stuff is tomato, which is no calories. So I'm not gonna track that. I'm not gonna worry about that. Stuff that you don't have to worry about really about tracking are vegetables, now you can, but in terms of if you're stressing out about it, t it being too hard, again, just focus on the ones with the macros. I also added lettuce, no calories, not gonna track that. Onion, same thing. And lastly, cheese, so cheese I'm gonna track. Now the cheese we have here. So this is gonna be another easy one. Scan, scan, boom. And I had about an ounce, so 110 calories. Probably a little less, but we're gonna round up. Boom. Add in my tacos for meal three. And again, you could double check. You could double check your work. But it was 1,215 calories. For two tacos, I probably think that's about right. Um, added a little extra meat, you know what I mean? Extra guac. But that's how you do it, guys. So next time you are having a multi-ingredient meal, you're having something with a lot of ingredients, tortillas, ground beef, you know, jumbo live, you're having rice, chicken, you know, maybe some vegetables in there. Focus on the heavier stuff first, the rice, the meats, the stuff with the macros, right, the dairy products. And then you could throw in afterwards if you still want to, if you still have the energy, the tomatoes, the lettuce, the onions, stuff like that that have, you know, very little calories with a large volume. So I don't really worry about tracking those. I worry about the big ingredients, the macronutrient ingredients, and the ingredients with the most calories. So hope that helped. I'll see you guys next time.